I have made some bad mistakes in my time, but death breaks, and I'll bet I've had way more fun than you. Hello there, I'm Kip, and I like to make things out of wood. And pallet wood is great for a lot of what I do. But pallets need broken down, and that's not always easy. I saw a video the other day where this guy was using a special tool to make breaking down pallets a quick and easy job. There wasn't a link to where you could buy one, but I searched online and these things are between $30 and $65. So I'm going to make one using crap lying around my garage and my backyard. I made a quick sketch up using MS Paint. It looks pretty simple. It has two fingers that go under the boards and a rounded piece in the rear that rests on the 2x4 cross pieces. With the fingers under the board, you simply pull back with a long handle and the whole thing pivots with a round piece as a fulcrum and it pops the board right off. There's also a piece of angle iron for support. I have some flat steel given to me by my son-in-law that should come in handy and there are some old chain link fence parts laying next to my garage that are exactly what I need. I'll start by cutting a piece for the handle using my 4 inch angle grinder with a thin cutoff wheel. Next I'll cut this round piece in the back. I can also use the grinder to cut this section in half longwise. These will be used for the fingers. I can use a flat steel to make the angled iron part by cutting it to the size and welding it together. I will also cut two more pieces to weld onto the top of the fingers. Okay, so it's been about a year since I've been working on this project. I ran out of welding wire and never got around to buying any, but today I got some in the welder, so I'm going to get back to it. I was uh, welding these fingers onto this round hub, and I got to finish welding it out. But before I do that, I want to cut this angle piece I made, take some notches out on each side so it'll fit down over the fingers. Let's get the 4 inch grinder out and start cutting. Okay, now it's cut out and it fits right over there. So now we'll finish out all the welding and install the handle. Okay, the last step I want to do is take a little notch out of the handle here so it'll fit down over the angle piece and I have more surface area to weld. an entire year after starting this project it's finally finished got all the welding done and it's heavy as heck so it should work I haven't got anything to test it on today because I don't have any pellets uh, I was actually waiting to finish this before I collected some pellets to break them up and now I don't have the pellets you know it's kind of a catch-22 get the pellets can't break them up get the breaker but I've got no pellets to break up so hopefully I can get a pallet sometime in a couple days and try it out. Pretty sure it's going to work. And if it doesn't work, eh, who cares? It's just junk I had laying in my yard. Thanks for watching.